and, and it, it would, like you said earlier, re proper regulation would be great in this space. I mean, you know, if, if more lawmakers or or people in in the digital finance or finance world recognize that, wait a minute, the blockchain is something that if you're going to be offering a service to 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 give people these proof of stake or access to this, then you need to be able to have 100% of that in on chain or yeah. be able to have, ha have that because you know how a proof of stake network works. You lock up a portion and by code, you will get back 8%, 3%, nine, whatever that proof of stake network is offering is going to go back to whoever's staking. So if you're, if you're yeah. offering a service on a large scale, to retail investors to do this for them, you're making a guaranteed spread. You don't need to yeah. rehypothecate and loan it out. You literally can just charge a fee from that stake. It could, it could be a standard, you know, fee that you're that you can charge for um, off of that stake. And there you go. But anyway, I'm sure they'll come up with some some great solutions. One more thing uh, on this article that I just saw. Mm -hmm. If you're asking me. Will another meltdown to zero? Absolutely, it will happen and keep happening over and over again. I, I think that it's one of those tautological. I mean, it's true, and it's true just like after Enron, just like before yeah. and after. It's true that you're going to have out there right now. There's a fraudulent company running right now yes. that hasn't that hasn't been found out, and it's true that there are blockchain, whether it's exchanges or projects, that are going to go to zero. Uh, you yeah. know, I mean. That's the nature. Well, fact, but that's also of, true <laughs> of stocks and securities in the traditional market too. There are some that will go to zero. Right. And, and, and you can't regulate, you can't regulate away risk as far as nobody knows which companies or blockchain projects are going to build, you know, something of value that, that are, is, is going to be used and, and grow in the future. I mean, some companies succeed, some companies don't and same with blockchain. So, um, that that's a different subject but as far as things right. going to zero uh i would say as of course none of this we're talking about is financial advice but if you do decide to get involved in participating and being a part of these networks that you think are exciting and, and a part of the future and help them grow do expect that some of the choices you make <laughs> at least we i've made um are are going to go to zero they can't they can't all take yeah. off that's but part you know of that's part of it. But the ones that do um, go very, very, very high. Oh, this will be a brief, can. a brief, a little brief story here or a uh, news item. Uh, the, the SEC is making a proposal that will uh, regulate the kind of custodians that investment advisors are allowed to keep their assets at. So if you're a registered investment advisor and you, and you take customer client funds and then you invest mm -hmm. them, on their behalf with with a with a you know custodial wallet or entity right then uh they're going to limit who who qualifies as, as a qual who, who meets the standard as a qualified custodian and this would be an entity that's you know sec regulated that has um, all the licenses and follows the books basically and so it's it's going to base it's going to limit the kind of decisions and options that investment advisors have and probably in a good way because they're taking they have fiduciary responsibility to their clients to make sure they don't you know subject them to something that's that's very risky you know and 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 of course these these custodians that aren't that aren't qualified you know by definition are more risky uh, mm -hmm. so yeah this 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 is the kind of regulation that I think you know depending on the details of course you know so don't I'm not endorsing it but but this is the sort of thing that I think it's targeted and makes it sensible it, it in, you know, this is where, this is the place where we could see some meaningful and uh, positive um, regulation. Absolutely. Just like you've got um, ratings, you, you've got, you, you, you need to have the blue chips and, and the higher risk digital assets. It would be great yeah. for there to be kind of a, a language that could be shared amongst the traditional um financial intermediaries or, or those those lenders the people yep. that are there to say hey you know what you can take some of your 401k you can take some of your ira and you can mm -hmm. start 
adding this to the portfolio? Well, maybe, you know, you want to think that Bitcoin and Ethereum are, are considered to be blue chips and maybe Bored Apes Yacht Club token uh, might be a little bit might higher be. risk, yeah. you know? Um, right. If you're if you if you hold one of those NFTs, you probably might disagree. I, I can understand that. But the, <laughs> po the point is, <laughs> yeah. The but the, the reality is, is that um not all cryptos are the same. Hey, if you like that clip and you want to hear the rest of it and learn more about macroeconomics, cryptocurrency regulation, and the opportunities out there, hit the link right here for the full conversation that we had, or here, wherever we put it. I'm not sure. But you can also support us by hitting the like button and the subscribe button. So when we drop our next content, you get it right away and don't miss those opportunities. Also, there's more. Yes, if you would like one on one assistance or even a group uh, meeting, we can provide consulting and advice on crypto gateways and exit ramps, as well as secure security, rather securing your crypto as well as swapping, storing, or staking, or NFTs, or any of the above. So feel free to fill out the form at our wisebeyondbitcoin.com website. We'll get back to you and schedule a meeting. Absolutely. We've been in blockchain and crypto for several years, since the 2017 ICO days directly, and following it since the beginning, actually, and been in economics and finance for years before then. So we look forward to helping you in your education journey. Feel free to let us know if you're just looking to learn more about market diversification, you know, blockchain and crypto, there's layer ones, layer twos, NFTs, applications being built. So if there's something we can do to help you, we look forward to it. Until then, thank you. Namaste. And have a beautiful day.